Hello and welcome, this is Steven Dulcey, and today I have an unboxing for you. I'm going to be taking a look at the Genosaur Raven version, a high-end master model that was released by Kotobuki Kotobukiya in collaboration with Takara Tomi in August of 2011. This model retails for 8,200 yen and is number 27 in, Kotobu in the HMM franchise. As you can see, this is Raven's second Genosaur from Zoid's Guardian Force, the second half of the original Zoid's cartoon. And, yeah. If you haven't watched the original Zoids cart, if you haven't watched Zoids Chaotic Century, which is the first half of the original Zoids cartoon, you will notice that Raven's Genosaur was destroyed by, um, Van's Blade Liger in episode 33. For some reason, Raven acquired a second Genosaur in the, in Guardian Force, except that it w all the purple was replaced with red. The purple panels were replaced with red colors. And on the box, we have the Genosaur, Raven's Genosaur. We have a picture of Van's Blade Liger. And over there, you can see um, Irvine's Command Wolf. Like all high end master model boxes, the box is done by Mercy Rabbit. And we have the Takara Tomy logo, the Zoids logo from 2002 to 2013, the HMM logo, and the number 27. On the side of the box, we have a picture. We have some. We have some nice background information in Japanese. We have a picture of the model, a hand-drawn picture of the model. We have a little barcode and price of the model, ages 15 and up. Mm, website address, um, email address, company address, and pretty much, at, at pretty much. That's pretty much it. On the side of the box, we just have a picture that's based on the that's based on the front of the box. On the side, we have some gimmicks. You've got the whole charged particle gun gimmick. We have. It also comes with pictures of Raven, one in sitting position, one in standing position, as well as its organoid shadow. It can also do the wire arm gimmick as well. And on this side, it's just a picture of the model. So enough. Of the, so enough of the box. Let's get. Let's get into. Parts. Okay. The first brew we get is some silver. These are parts for the the toes and the little and the little gun and the gun on his back. This is letter. This letter is um, letter P. And also the gun, the little gun on his head, on its head. And actually, I don't know what. Actually, I think that's part of the gun of the on the um on the laser rifles or something. That's a very nice titanium silver. Here we have the light red parts. These are just parts for the outer frame and the Zoid core. And yeah, and and the body. On the side, we have a dark purple or dark blue color. It's like a dark bluish violet black color. These are part. This is letter A. These are just parts for the head and the neck and the body. Oh, and the the little light red runner is a is letter F. More red parts. These are these are the G runners. These are mostly parts for the legs. And it's a um, duplicate runner. Here we have some light blue parts or grayish blue color or bluish gray. These are these are this is the um, J runner. And these are just more, just some numerous small parts that go on the, that go on the legs and other parts and parts of the gun too. More silver. We have the teeth, um, 
the the gun on its head, parts for the gun on its back, parts for the body, the seat, and a buildable pilot, and a buildable pilot, and some other parts. These parts I'm talking about. Don't know where they go. Another light, another another grayish blue runner. We have the we just parts for the body, and it's letter and it's, the letter is I, and the the silver runner is letter O. More dark purple, bluish black. These are parts for the tail. The letter is um. The letter is C. And it's also a duplicate run a duplicate runner. And that's it for the right side. Taking a look at the left side, we have some more dark some more dark bluish dark purple blue black color black parts. These are more parts of the tail, and this is the the B plate. And we have a red another light red runner. These are parts for the for the um arms. And the letter is H. And we also have the figure, the pilot, the figures of Raven in sitting and standing position, and one for Shadow. More dark bluish, purplish, black parts. These are just part, just parts of the legs. And the letter is D. And it's another duplicate runner. Here we have the light clear bits that go on the eyes, and the legs, and the tip of the tail. And the zoid core, as well as the these little red pieces, which are the eyes. Oh, sorry. Some pieces fell. Some gold piston parts. Letter is R. And this is actually a nice shade of gold. This gold is just pretty good. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Here we have some silver pistons and some dark bluish purple parts. Dark bluish purplish black parts. X and S. The I runner, actually the L runner, which is just some numerous small light blue scrape runners, and it's duplicate runners. Here we have some some purplish gray for the charged particle gun and part of the eyes. The letter is Q, the light, and some numerous light red runners. The letter is Y. And we have some numerous light bluish gray runners. K and PC1. PC is short for polycaps. Some more light red. These are parts for these are just these are just parts for the legs. And it's a duplicate runner. Have a sil we have a silver runner. These are parts for the head and we the arms and the wire arm gimmick as well. And on the and on and letter and on the light and another light red runner is letter M. Just some more numerous small red parts for the for the body. And the silver letter is Z2. This red is letter M, and both of these are N. We have some little light blue cables, which isn't, which aren't good. Letter W, and it's a duplicate runner. And we also have the polycaps, which are PC2, and it's a duplicate and it's also a duplicate runner. Letter Z1, molded in light blue gray. These are, these are, this is the neck and parts of the for parts for the tail, and. Letter and we have the um, the E runner, which is which is molded in the in the dark purplish bluish black, just parts for the tail. Last but not least, we get the caps, which are 
actually a, a light gray. They're like, they're all like, like 33 of them, because there are three, because there are three V runners. And that's it for the parts. So I'll just take a little, I'll just take a quick look at the instruction manual, and we're and, we're, and we'll be done. Like all high and master model instruction manuals, it has the same, the same iconic front and front and front. It tells you what parts to build, which parts of the Zoid, to, what part of the Zoids to build, the to car, the logo, the logo, a picture of the model, a, another picture of the model as a silhouette. That cover is, is, has its gimmicks. Little backstory information. Little backstory. It's it's the picture. Some nice black and gray. Some black and white picture. Parts list and the coupon. Be building begins on page six, and this instruction booklet has a total of. 22 pages. Well, technically it's tw well, technically it's 24 if you count the front and back covers. And finally, we have the. Hold on. Finally, we have the little decals, but I'm not going to use them because I don't do water slides. So this has been my unboxing of the HMM Genosaur Raven version. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you guys next time.